how to use buffer to manage your social media platforms hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be telling you how you can use buffer to manage all of your social media accounts so having said that let's just jump into the video so for those of you who don't know what buffer is buffer is a social media managing tool so there's really not much else to explain it's in the tagline it helps you manage all of your social media accounts all in one place so let's get into it now over here underneath the tools we can see that it allows us to create a library of content we can publish all of our content over here we can analyze all of our social media platforms we can see the engagement on our posts and our profiles we can start a page and we also have the ai assistant now buffer is a free tool but there is a pricing plan however so let's go ahead and take a look at that so right here these are the four pricing plans so we have the free plan the essential the team and the agency in the free plan you can connect up to three different channels and channels are going to be your social media accounts so you can go ahead and connect your instagram your facebook and your twitter you can use planning and publishing tools you get a landing page builder and an ai assistant as well in the essential one however if you pay five dollars per month for one channel you get everything in the free plan including engagement tools and analytic reports as well if we scroll down we can see more options that it provides so we can see so we can see we had five dollars per month per channel right but we get unlimited scheduling posts whereas in the free one we only get 10 per channel right here you can see you can you have a list of different channels so one thing about buffer is that it also lets you go ahead and use google my business profile which other platforms don't do and it has a more variety of different options like blue sky and mastodon as well so other social media managing tools like zoho suites and boot suites uh, well they don't allow you to use google but zoho does which is pretty cool you get content creation tools over here as you can see you get 100 ideas in the free one but you get 2000 ideas in the essential and publishing you can see one at a time but unlimited in the essential ones i'm just going over the main options you can go ahead and pause the video or come over here and look it up at your own leisure and select whichever plan you think is best for you but you know make sure to check out all the features as well before you go ahead and do that but yeah these were the plans so we have free essential team and agency essential is going to be five dollars per channel team is going to be ten dollars per channel and agency is going to be a hundred dollars per month for all 10 channels so moving on we're going to go ahead and sign up and get started with buffer so the sign up process is very simple all you have to do is come over here and add your email address and your password and you should be good to go and once you do that you are presented with these options so they're going to ask you where would you like to start so you have grow your audience schedule a post or build your audience build your page create a simple page for your business or analyze your content so you can skip this and you know move straight to the dashboard and do all of this later so we're going to go ahead and skip this selection and move on to the next page and here we go so as you can see this is how it looks like this is going to be your dashboard or calendar over here on the left hand side you have different channels so you can go ahead and connect any of these channels so you have linkedin twitter instagram and facebook so you can go ahead and do that you have analyze engage and start a page over here you also have to make sure that you verify your email address and we should be good to go let's go ahead and get started with it before we go ahead and connect our channels we have to make sure that our account is verified so i'm going to go ahead and verify it and there we go our account is now verified as you can see right here so we should be good to go now to connect any of your channels you, all you have to do is just simply select the channel you want so let's say we want to connect our twitter account so all we'd have to do is click on twitter it's going to open up the api over here and now we just simply enter in our username and password and authorize the application if you want to log in into your Twitter account, you can go ahead and do that. Open up another tab and just log in into your Twitter account. And all we have to do is make sure to click on the authorize button and we are good to go. And here we go. So our account is now logged in and now we just confirm it and click on start connecting. Give it a couple of seconds and your account should be connected. And there you go. Now we can go ahead and create a post for our Twitter account. But before we continue, if you want, you can go ahead and connect to other accounts as well. So you can see we have a very large number of content to go ahead and connect it to. 
I am also connecting my Facebook account as well, but something went wrong. So we'll just continue. Another cool thing that I have seen on Buffer is there is that you can even go ahead and connect threads. So not a lot of social media managing tools out there allow threads right now, which is pretty cool to see on Buffer. So let's assume that you have connected all of your social media accounts and now you are good to go. So now you can go ahead and schedule your post. So to schedule your post, pick a date right on this calendar. Let's say you want to schedule a post for Friday on the 27th. And over here, you can pick the time as well. So let's say at 12 p.m. on Friday, we want to publish a post. So we'll click over here. Here you want to go ahead and start writing you can even use the AI assistant or drag and drop your files over here. It can be video image, whatever. And then you can go ahead and schedule it. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just simply going to go ahead and select the file. So I've been playing God of War and I think it's an acrylic bowl game. So let's say we want to treat about this. So we'll just say that. And over here, let's say we want to treat this, right? So once we've added all our captions and all our posts, what we can do is we can go ahead and make a schedule, right? And since we've already selected the date and time, we don't have to go ahead and do that. Uh, but if you still want to schedule it, you can go ahead and create a schedule it as a draft. But for now, we're going to click on schedule post. And there we go. So this post is now scheduled. And on Friday 27th at 12 p.m., this post will go ahead and be published. And same thing with other social media accounts as well. So I was unable to connect other accounts. So let me go ahead and do that as well. So let's go ahead and click on continue as and we should be good to go but I keep getting this error. I don't understand why, but we'll leave it at that. You know, I couldn't connect it. It's okay. Maybe something is wrong with my account because I just recently created one. Maybe that's why, but yeah, I don't have any other accounts that I would use, but yeah, you can go ahead and connect them easily as I did with my Twitter account. So now let's go ahead and move on to the next app. So over here, uh, we can see we have a small little checklist that we have to go ahead and complete. So we have create buffer account. We did that, connected our channel and we published our post. So let's go ahead and click on save an idea to, you know, go ahead and create and save an idea. So let's say we had an idea. Uh, we wanted to leave out a review or anything, right? If you any, have any idea, you can go ahead and add that idea over here. And once you've finished, you know, saving an idea, all you got to do is click on save idea. And then you can come back to it and, you know, take a look at it later. So currently, this is the unassigned option right here where you have all of your ideas and inspirations. And then you can move them over to to do and in progress and done and you can move it along. So here you have the create section here. You can generate different ideas, even using the AI. So over here, you click over here. So what is your business about? So you just tell it about your business. You know, what is your targeted audience? So let's say. And once you've entered in your ideas, you just simply hit the enter and then, you know, it'll generate different ideas for it. So depending on what you enter. So over here, as you can see, you know, gives you a bunch of options. I don't find it really helpful. I think it's not that great, but, you know, it's an option that you can use. So once it's done, you are good to go. So now all that's left for us to do is to go ahead and select the start a page option. So we've already you know scheduled the post shown you how you can create and connect different channels create the post schedule them then you have your analyze and engage option of course since this is a brand new account there won't be a lot of different informations but over here this is not available you know as of right now because as i said before in the free plan you don't get analytics or anything like that you only get that in the paid plan but you can go ahead and try it for free and you should be good to go Again, same with the engagement option. You can only use engagement and analyze in the paid plan. So we're going to skip these for now. So we're going to move over to the start page option where we can get started with our page. And now over here, this is how it would look like. You have a bunch of different options to choose from. So these are like simple pages where, you know, people can see your shops, your websites, your podcast, all of those stuff. So you can select whichever option you want, depending on you. So I personally like this style right here, the Alexo and also the Mowgli right here. It looks pretty cool and really simple. So we're going to select Mowgli and over here, we're going to enter our page name. So we're going to say Kelpie, click on next. And over here, this is the preview. This is how it looks like. You can go ahead and check it out, but we're going to change some of these stuff, right? So here we have the profile picture. You click over here. We upload our own profile picture or our own image. We're going to select 
this one right here over here we're going to add the name and then just a few words about your business you can go ahead and do that over here instead of this i'll just change change it to something along the lines of that and then you have the header format you want it with the banner without the banner you click over here you can select all these different options so depends on you what you want i like the banner option but i think it's a little bit too big and makes our image a little bit smaller so we're going to select without the banner that looks much better then we have our appearance options over here on the right hand side we have other options as well but we have our appearance this is our theme over here we have our button colors and our fonts right now we have oswald which i think looks pretty good and goes really really well with the overall theme of our page so we're going to leave it at that and we're also not going to change the colors because i think black and red really good combination and we've already selected change the layout of our profile picture so we're going to move on to the next one which is going to be social links so we're going to click on social links and over here we're just simply going to add our social media links so again for instagram for threads for tiktok whatever you want if there is a platform that you do not see over here and you want to add all you have to do is click on add social links and select from the list so let's say we want to add our threads account so here we have our threads so now we're just simply going to add our links to add them all we have to do is copy the links and then just simply paste the links right here like so same with youtube i don't have a youtube channel so we're going to skip that and our twitter account i think twitter is good and threads is also nice so we're going to see that and we can also add a tiktok account as well i think that looks much better and then same for threads and for tiktok as well just add your tiktok links and once you've set up your profile you should be good to go now let's go back to our editor and now we have our buttons option so right here we have our button options so over here you have your button so you can go ahead and label it uh, if you want you can go ahead and delete it as well so let's say we want to delete this button we'll go ahead and delete that and over here instead of watch my videos we can go ahead and select watch my reviews and here we can add our main website link our channel link our youtube channel whatever you want you can add that link over here and if you want to add something of course just simply click on the plus new button and if you want to add something all you have to do is click on this plus button right here called add block and then select which block you want so you have button link social links image links subheadings text we have videos right here youtube videos spotify music image link grades updates and email sign up so you can select whichever option you want and from here you can go ahead and delete whichever option you want and once it's done all you have to do is click on publish your page right here or publish changes and then over here just enter in your business name so we'll just say kelpie and then over here we can go ahead and click on publish start page click on that and we should be good to go and now we can go ahead and copy the link and paste it onto our social media platforms or you know promote it in our campaign ads or whatever we want now also let's go ahead and check out analyze and gauge just because why not i've already started the free trial so let's go ahead and go over analyze and engagement as well so here we have a couple of different options you will be able to see your total likes impressions and audience engagements are going to be over here recent posts are going to be over here and your social media channels are going to be right here now since i haven't you know done a lot of social media social media whatever word you want to call it of course there is not going to be any real options but you can go ahead and see that your total number of likes are going to be over here it's going to be shown like a graph total impressions and engagement recent posts recent posts are going to be over here on the left hand side you can see all of your channels that you might have connected and you can go ahead and check out individual channels and their individual analysis on that channel uh, you're going to have some tools like tags if you click on tags it's going to go ahead and analyze your tag and you know create tags for you and then you also have your reports as well so if you click over here your reports are going to be automatically updated every single day so for facebook of course you're going to have to connect your facebook account twitter x and all of that so we've already connected twitter so let's go ahead and take a look at how it would present us so here we have our tweets retweets impressions engagement and you know replies and all of that we have our average performance our metric of insights are going to be over here so pretty simple over here you can see all of the posts and over here you can see all of the answers and overview 
So very simple. And again, if we go ahead and click on the engage section and in the engagement section, uh, mainly it will show you posts from your Instagram and your Facebook account. And this is how it looks like. We'll see all of your likes comments and all of that on your post so i have connected my facebook account it connected this time unfortunately because previously it could not connect so let's go ahead and take a look at how we can go ahead and schedule posts for instagram as well so if you come over here we can see we have our instagram account right here if we want to make a post on instagram again all we have to do is click on this plus button on to create a new post or schedule a post from the calendar over here so if we click on create new post here, we can select what type of post we want to create. So since we have selected Facebook over here, we have selected Instagram over here. We can go ahead and select a uh, post reel or story. Now connecting the Instagram was tricky, which I will get to later and show you how you can do that. But for now, we can go ahead and select whether we want post reel or story. Select whichever option you want. If you want to post a story, just simply click and drag and drop your file over here. Add your stickers. If you want to post a reel, again, drag and drop your reel over here. And if you want to add a post, just simply do the exact same thing. Here you can add your first comment, your location. You can add a sticker over here. You can add music and tag products as well if you want. And you can add your location and then you can go ahead and select or add it to queue or, you know, save it as draft. It depends on you. And of course, you can go ahead and manage all of your other social media accounts directly from here as well. So this is my page right now. We'll just leave it at that. But yeah, so let's go ahead and select the Instagram. And here we can go ahead and upload our images, whatever we want. And once we do that, we just simply add our tagline over here. So we'll just say it doesn't matter. And then we can go ahead and, you know, click on customize for each network over here if you want right here for twitter or instagram whichever one you want we don't want to select twitter we just want instagram so we're going to select instagram if you want you can just quickly click on them and their profile pictures or will be highlighted or colorized meaning you can go ahead and check it out so now over here once you've done you can go ahead and add stickers text whatever your topic you want uh, over here you can go ahead and select it automatically basically buffer will post automatically for you and then over here, you can save it as draft or add to queue. If you click on this little arrow, you can share now, share next, schedule a post, depends on you. But yeah, after that, you should be good to go. So we just simply click on adding to queue. And yeah, it's going to be added to our queue. And we can go ahead and post it whenever we want. So tomorrow, schedule post or whatever. So we'll just say schedule a post. And over here, we can schedule that for you but yeah this is now in our queue we can go ahead and share it now share it later it depends on us so there you go that is how you do it that is how you use buffer to manage all of your social media accounts so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible and having said that thank you guys for watching and until next time take care and goodbye